Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Fever. I'm not going to be doing a long episode today, it's just um, a little update. I just wanted to let you know what's changed a little bit. Um, I've done a little bit of decorating which I'm going to go and show you in a minute. But first of all, I've put the performance patch on and oh my gosh what a difference. <laughs> what a difference. I was starting to have some frame rate issues and uh, especially in and around the, the city centres and stuff but things are running so much better now so much smoother and I'm actually getting up to like 60 frames a second once I move out of the city so it's, it's recording a heck of a lot better I'll show you that in a minute <laughs> yeah some of the differences some of the improvements are just do, do fantastic um, there's now a timed auto save instead of it saving at the end of the year you can now set it to save every 10 minutes every 20 minutes every 30 minutes or so oh if I'd have put that on last week before I built that <laughs> before I built all this I could have gone back to the point where I broke it and I could have saved most of the build like I said, I'd, I'm pretty sure I broke it in the village somewhere, so I probably would have lost all this anyway, but I would have had all this side done. That would have been fine. <laughs> this game can be a pain. <laughs> These improvements, oh, oh, thank you so much to the developers for this. It really is a game changer. It really has, really has made a massive, massive difference. Everything's so much smoother. I can move around without, you know stuttering every few seconds and yeah so what I did up here I did a bit of decorating put a load of sidings in I sent one of these trains back to the depot because they were bunching up a little bit um, I had to join the track up somewhere here but yeah I've put a load of Put a lot of carriages in and stuff. Some of them got coal and iron in. Some of them were empty. Some of them got some logs on. Thought we'd make out that we're sort of deforesting this area a little bit. And put some of the buildings in. There's some assets down here. Little tracks with trucks on. There's some guys, some workers knocking around. We've got cranes moving. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you for that whistle. You should be moving, why aren't you moving? These are moving. Oh, there he goes. Yes, yeah, so we've got animation going on. Um, a few more buildings, just make it look a bit more. Oh, that's a bit out of place, but... It was an old rusty building, and I haven't got a lot of old rusty sort of buildings that look the part. <laughs> This mod's gonna make things so much better though. It means I've got means I can do a lot more on this map. I was really starting to get a bit worried. Um my frame rate was just I was having problems and I just I didn't think I could have carried on for much longer. Um especially once I start once I do more decorating and stuff, it's just it was jittering everywhere, I wasn't getting any decent recordings, I could only I could only sort of really do the flyovers and stuff I didn't want to stop the towns growing here it's not it's not big enough <laughs> I want them bigger you're going to be able to get a lot bigger now what else? was there something else? I don't know I forgot, I'm tired, I've had a really busy day today that's why I haven't had a chance to get much done. Plus, I had a bit of a problem with the computer earlier on, and I had to uh, I had to sort that out. It took me a little while. I do some updates. It wrecked my screen recorder, and I had to end up going back to a restore point. Things weren't working on the computer properly. <laughs> the computer was going really, really slow. So I sorted it. And we got the patch update and we got a bit more decorating done. So yeah, I'm well happy now. Definitely confident I can I can get a lot of this map filled in now. Maybe even do a bit of a bigger map on the next series. Cause this is a this is set to small in this direction and medium in this direction. 
So your normal map cards, uh, the smallest map card would be half of this. Um, so basically, I've just yeah, it was three oh seven three pixels wide by two something that way. So what I'll probably do is do a, a medium sized map next time, maybe double the size of this. See how that goes. It's gonna the amount of work that's gonna be involved in detailing it all though is gonna be incredible. <coughs> It'd be nice to be able to do this on a big map. My computer wouldn't handle it anyway, I don't think. Um but just the amount of work I'd have to I'd have just have to sit here on pause most of the time and uh, just fill it up bit by bit and it take me forever <laughs> this is going to take a long time as it is but I reckon we've just extended it by another 10-20 episodes at least I really want to get this map all filled in now <laughs> I will do soon and we'll do do a bit more on this for the next episode. Might do it off camera, just because it's just a lot of little bits and pieces, and it's it's pretty much the same sort of thing. Might just do a sort of little time lapse or something. Yeah, so we are running smoothly. We've got lots of trains going. We've got lots of vehicles. We do have a lot of vehicles. Um, Let's have a look on here. So we've got <sighs> Okay, we've got two hundred and thirteen road vehicles, and seventeen ships, and seventy one trains and thirty trams. <laughs> so we have got quite a few on the go. How are the routes doing? Let's have a look. Who's losing me that much money? The mine train. It's not carrying out. So that's my uh, my lost leader, as they say. <laughs> that's my costly one. It's costing me a million quid a year. That's not good. I might take one of them other trains off. In fact, I am going to do. a lot of money to spend on something just for aesthetical reasons. You go on. <laughs> That's gonna slow everything down on the route on the way back as well. <laughs> Mess with the time into things. They'll all sort themselves out though. It's getting nice and busy through here. far off getting some trains with a decent bit of pulling power and a decent bit of speed. But by the looks of it we're definitely going to get into the diesels anyway. Um, I don't know about going on to electrics and that. We'll see how we get on. I like the, I like the steam trains though. Right, I'm going to call it a night. Because uh, I want an early night tonight, I'm really tired. Um, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Not quite sure. Let's pick a number. <laughs> it's, what? Yeah, yeah, I don't even want to know how many builds I've got to do. I'm going to sort all this out, I've got to do these. I think I might... I think I might decorate these up actually. Um and just get this get this whole area sorted out. I wanna open Cosgrove up, as I said in the last episode I think. Um I wanna open this side up so I might put a football stadium and a church or something in here and a park and then let the town build around it. Just get the all this side filled in and then maybe join that up. I want to do the farms, I want to do, we're going to be starting doing the beaches soon, I want to get this golf course in here, I want to get this industrial area, I've got the sidings to do, I want to do something round here, maybe even just a forest or something, I don't know, 
We'll see, we'll see. We'll get there eventually. We're working on it. We're making progress. That's the main thing. Yes, that looks a lot better. I'll disguise the <laughs> mad roller coaster. I did sort that bridge out as well. Just deleted back a bit and leveled it out a bit so it's not coming up and then down. Right, okie dokie. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching again. Um, I'll be back really soon. Good night.